So we just finished installing the window. Next we're going to get into the flashing. We're going to use a flashing tape that works with the WRB. It's the DuPont tape because it's going to be touching their uh, Tyvek wrap. So we'll start off by doing the jams. We're going to wrap up over the top so we've got a good layered effect. Then we're going to put some sealant where the thermal buck meets the wall. We're going to bring the WRB down into it, press it into it, then lay it over top of the flange. Then we'll put one piece across the head. Then we'll tape any of the cut joints so everything's a good shingled layered effect. Place. Now we're going to put the ceiling across the top. That ceiling is just another added protection layer to keep any moisture that might possibly get behind the WRB from going in behind the thermal box and then it makes a good transition corner for when you put your insulation in later. So we'll bring that down, make sure we tape that in good. And then you see how the flap comes down and overlaps the flange on the window. That way any moisture that gets back here comes down the WRB, comes down and it can't get behind. Now we've got the head flashing done, we're going to do one last layer over the small cuts in the corners. We'll roll that into place. Now you've got a weather tight assembly, that way next you would come and you would put your insulation up tight against it and now you've got a flush plane for your cladding to go in. Thermal buck comes in different thicknesses to match what you're doing on the outside of your structure. Whether you're using different thicknesses of rigid insulation or rigid insulation and rain screen. That way you have a flush plane to tie your cladding into your structure.